Hello drum fans, my name is Kev Hickman and I'm coming at you from Rhythm Room Music School in Milton Keynes. Today we're going to be talking about a six stroke roll. So the six stroke roll is based around the paradiddle diddle family. So if you don't know what a paradiddle diddle is, that's right, left, right, right, left, left. So with a six stroke roll, we're taking that double at the end of your paradiddle diddle and we're putting that in the middle. So the sticking then becomes right, left, left, right, right, left. Again, that was right, left, left, right, right, left. Let's play that on the snare drum together. Now, the interesting thing about that fill uh, is that it's both 16 note triplets, so we can loop it over and over. So we're not going to play that pause, we're just going to play that over and over again and make it one long thing. Now, we can start creating some really interesting fills when we start moving this around the drums. So uh, a sticking that I would advise would be playing the first right on tom three and then the last left on tom one. So it would sound like this. So remember as we were saying before, these are 16 note triplets, so we're gonna be looping them over and over and over again and it sounds something like this. This works quite well if you start accenting the notes that are on the toms and ghosting the ones on the snare drum. Let's try and put that into a beat. And when we get that up to speed, we can start making something that sounds really quite cool, actually. Something that you might want to try as well is instead of hitting Tom 3 or Tom 1 with those singles, hit a crash cymbal. And remember when you hit that crash cymbal to hit a bass drum as well. So it sounds something like this. Right, take that around the drums, hit some cymbals, and you'll start getting something that sounds really interesting. <laughs> 